Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this short video, we will learn that what is saddle points and how can we point out or describe saddle points. We will learn that what is saddle points through example. So let's move toward a question. A function is given in two-dimensional plane x and y. A function is f of x y is equal to two times of x y minus x square minus two y square plus three x plus four. First, we will find a local maxima. Then we will find a local minima, and at last we will find a several points. The condition for local maximum is this: that f of x x o should be less than zero. While another condition is f of x x, f of y y minus f of x y square. This should be greater than zero. While the condition for local minima is this: f of x x should be greater than zero. While this will come down as it is f of x x f of y y minus f of x y square greater than zero. While the condition for a saddle point is this that f of x x o f of y y minus f of x y square should be less than zero. So coming to our question, a function is f of x y is equal to two x y minus x square minus two y square plus three x plus four. First, we will find the derivative of this function. Move the solution partially with respect to x. So it becomes a part x. A part x means partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So over here, two y will become as a constant, and we will differentiate with x. So the derivative of x with respect to x is one. So it becomes two y. With respect to x, the derivative of minus x here with respect to two, uh, x is minus two x. This is a constant because we derive it uh, find the derivative with respect to x so minus 2y square derivative is 0 and derivative of 3x with respect to x is a 3 and with respect to 4 is 0 because it is a constant now we are going to find out uh, f of y so for f of y we differentiate the given function with respect to y so by differentiating 2xy with respect to y it will give us 2x this is a constant because we differentiate with respect to y not with respect to x so And with respect to y over here minus two y square derivative with respect to y will be minus four y, and derivative of this is zero because this is a constant. We differentiate with respect to y not with respect to x. So, so this is the derivative in this case. Now, first we are going to find uh, the critical point. So for critical point it becomes zero. First time derivative will be zero. So it becomes two y minus two x plus three is equal to zero, and over here this will also be zero. So two x minus four y is equal to Zero. So from over here we get two x is equal to four y. Putting in this equation, so it becomes two y minus time of two x. So two x is four y. So four y and uh, plus three is equal to zero. So from over here it becomes minus two y is equal to shift three on the right hand side becomes minus three. So the value of y is a uh, three by two. By inserting the value of y over here, it will give us the required value of x. So, so 2x is equal to 4y. So 4 times of y is 3 by 2. So it becomes 2x is equal to 4 into 3 gives us so 12. 12 by 2 gives us 6. So uh, 4 into y is 3 by 2. So it gives us 12 by 2 gives us 6. So, so 2x is equal to 6. So the required value of x is equal to 3. So the required critical points is x and y. X is 3 and y is 3 by 2. Now, from this, we will find uh, the second order derivative. So, differentiating x again with respect to it, it becomes f of x x. So, this should be equal to two y will give us zero because this is a constant. In this case, we differentiate with x, not with y. Minus two x derivative with x with respect to x partially is minus two, and the derivative of three zero because it is a constant. This is f of x x. Now, finding the derivative of f of y again with respect to y, it becomes f of y y. The derivative of two x is zero because this is a constant. The derivative of four y is a minus four. Now, over here we need f of x y. So, differentiating the given function with respect to x y, x y is actually in multiplication. So, two x y derivative with respect to x y partially will be two because x y will cancel out with x y. So, we left with two, and other will give us zero because there is no x y term in this function. So the required f of x y is actually two. Now, finding f of x x. f of x x is actually negative two. So from over here, f of x x is as less than zero for local maxima, and for local minima, f of x x should be greater than zero. So over here, f of x x is negative. It means f of x x is less than zero. So for less than zero, the function will have a local maxima. 
local maxima. Now after this, so finding epa, this so epa x x so epa y y minus epa x y square will should be greater than zero. So epa x x is minus two, so minus two into epa y y is minus four, and minus I'm of epa x y epa x y is actually two, so two square. So it gives us so eight oh, and it become minus four, oh, so it gives us four. Four is greater than zero, so it means though it gives us a local maxima. So in this case, we do not proceed to the settled point. The function will give us a settled point if the x-axis gives us zero. So in this case, it does not give us zero. It means we cannot talk about settled point. We can talk just only about local maxima and local minima. And when the f of x is, is equal to zero, it's possible. It is possible only. When in this critical point, the pass value is zero. In this case, the settled point is possible because it will give us f of x is equal to zero. Now finding the maximum value. Uh, this critical point of the given function, so it become f of x, so x is actually 3, and y is 3 by 2, put over here 3 by 2, which is equal to 2 times of uh, x, so x is actually from over here 3, and uh, y is actually 3 by 2, minus x square, x is 3, this is x, this is y, so x is 3, so 3 square gives us 9, minus 2 times of y square, y is 3 by 2, so x square will give us 9 by 4, and plus 3 times of x, so x is actually 3, so 3 into 3, and plus of 4. So by simplification gives us a 2 cancel with 2, so 3, 3, 9, minus 9.